Hello, this is Elder Girfanov. I'm the developer of HSM Advisor Speed and Feet Calculator. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate speeds and feet for uh, general roughing, pocketing, and I'm going to show you how to machine these uh, three pockets and calculate cutting feet and speed and also calculate uh, ramping feed rate. Um, let's begin by defining our workpiece. So our workpiece is a D2 uh, tool steel material. We are going to be using a half inch four flute uh, roughing end mill and it's going to be made out of carbide and um, it's going to have um, titanium aluminum nitride coating. Um, let's begin by creating a tool path. So we just chain these boundaries. Uh, we select our tool. Uh, we set our tool number, length offset, uh, diameter offset if we need to. Uh, we choose coolant. We are going to use uh, mist, which is air blast to remove the, uh, the chips from the pocket and now we have to calculate the speed the feed and the plunge feed we launch uh, HSM advisor first thing we have to do is uh, choose our workpiece material you can either choose it by uh, looking through this uh, drop-down list or you can use filter and search for that kind of material here you go we found it now our machine is uh, basically that's what we have we're going to we're going to be using Haas 30 horsepower now what we have to do is we have to choose the tool type now if you have a tool already loaded uh, from the library then you're not going to be able to edit the tool type you have to click reset and now you can choose the tool the tool type you uh, from the list so we're going to be using high performance roughing animal choose the the material type carbide and coating tl now we should set our tool stick out to the real tool stick out of uh, of our physical tool for example this one is going to be um, one and a quarter inch long because these pockets are one inch long. Okay, we set our tool stick out flute length, uh, one inch will be okay. And uh, that's about it. Oh, we have to choose four flutes. Now we have to calculate the cutting depth. Uh, click slot pocket and it suggested cutting depth. This cutting depth is too much and uh, our torque limit shows that. It tells us to reduce the cutter engagement with the workpiece to clear the error. You can either do it manually by um, entering lower and lower numbers or what you can do is while this one is green, it's default, you just drag this slider to the left until the error goes away that's it now we have our depth of cut and it's going to be pretty much optimized okay now the next thing is mm, we need to get to the cutting depth somehow because it's a two, uh, d2 tool material we cannot uh, tool steel material we cannot mm, just plunge in straight this is going to be very hard on our end now so what we can do is uh, we can either choose to plunge straight so what a uh, calculator will do is it will divide the normal cutting feed by the number of flutes and suggest you the, the plunge feed rate for the straight plunge as if the tool was just going straight down or uh, what I personally like to do more is I like to uh, helically plunge to the required depth so we can click on this button circle ramp 
uh, that's our uh, circle interpolation or ramping uh, calculator uh, choose your mm, hole diameter for ramping it's going to be one inch now no no pilots and um, ramping angle I like to have it at three degrees and it calculates our uh, pack a uh, pitch so we can just remember that and we apply as you can see the plunge feed rate has changed that plunge feed rate is for this uh, plunge angle and this whole parameter that's it so we have our rpm our feed rate and our plunge feed rate what we have to do now is we have to copy this uh, uh, result information into our uh, CAM system uh, you can either remember it by just you know it's not that many numbers or you can call this um, floating window dialog and it will show us the, all this important information at all times so we just type it in and here our amount to remove will be one inch the depth of cut is going to be 236 236 now uh, let's leave five thou on the wall and on the floor because we are roughing and uh, our plunge type we are going to choose helical plunge and we are going to use the parameters we use to calculate our uh, ramping feed rate um, pitch was 82 tau So I guess it's close enough. And that's it. So what we have here is our ramping feed rate, then uh, the tool goes to the milling depth and it starts doing the milling operation. And basically that's it. You can close this window and right now you can save this tool you have created for yourself and you can even save this cut because most of the stuff we do is uh, repeat job so uh, i'm not going to show you how to save the tool i'm going to do it later well thank you bye